Hi guys, I'm Jess and welcome back to Magical Mischief and today we have got another collective haul for you guys. I'm trying to make sure that I'm putting out hauls a bit more regularly as and when I am buying stuff even if it's stuff that's going to end up being content because I just really want to show it all to you guys. Now we have got a load of Disney stuff. The Disney stuff is primarily in the big massive box in the thumbnail. I think we will start actually with the Funkos that I have got and the one Funko soda which I will start with. Now the container I have for him is upstairs but he came in this big big bottle and he was one of the giant Funko sodas and I got him recently he appeared on eBay and I did a bid and accidentally won him but he is so so stunning isn't he I did not get the chase this is the standard version and he is from the I Am Group line of Funkos Funko sodas I think and mystery minis that they did and he is stunning I love having him on the shelf I am looking to get more Funko sodas and do some openings of those in the future on the channel which is exciting now the next two Funko Pops um, may have by the time you see this have already gone out on Instagram one of them does have on the back a tiny bit of damage which I think my boyfriend was upset about or even if he wasn't I may have only just noticed it a recent I feel like but these are two Funko Wakanda Forever Pops that Lewis bought me as part of or for Valentine's Day the first one is of a character I am absolutely in love with. She is, I think, one of my most favourite Marvel characters ever, and this is a Koye. And this is her from Wakanda Forever in, like, her day-to-day -day outfit when she's not in her warrior uniform. This is what the side looks like and the back. This is who else you can collect. The only other ones from... This set, I believe I have, is, are they the same set? Yeah, is the Black Panther. And I believe I have the Embarku. So I definitely need Nakia, Queen Ramonda and Ironheart MK1. You can see down here the slight damage to the box, but it is absolutely fine. You don't see that when it's displayed. And that may be how I've looked after it since he gave it to me. And the next one that he got was the Black Panther from Wakanda Forever. And this is Shiri as Black Panther. And I don't have any of her in her Black Panther outfit. And I'm in love. This one is Pop 100, 1102, and this is Pop 1100. And I am just like in love with these. They are amazing. My boyfriend knows me so well. Now, the last Funko that I'm going to show you is a Funko I never thought I would get my hands on. They, I believe it was last year, sometime last year, released for the Disney 100 a Black Panther Funko, which is what I am showing you here. I missed it, it sold out, and I did not think they would re-release it on Funko Europe, but they did, and as soon as I got the email, I paid for it, because I just couldn't wait. He is absolutely stunning I love him so much he is pop 1187 and he is absolutely gorgeous 
the only other Marvel Disney 100 Funko that me and my boyfriend own is the Iron Man which is what I bought my boyfriend for his birthday because it was on discount. Now from the Funkos I think we'll move into Lego because I've only got three Legos to show you. One, Marvel, one Star Wars and two Harry Potter. So I think we will do the Harry Potter first. Now this one was a set, a very recent set that I got from my mum for Easter as part of her Easter gifts that she gave me, which was very nice. This is the Hedwig at Four Privet Drive and I think this will go really nicely with the Privet, Four Privet Drive Lego set that I do already have. I will be putting this back and saving this for a future video. It is absolutely stunning. I will possibly do this in maybe a two-part series along with the Privet Drive house, but it is stunning. The next Harry Potter <coughs> set that I got, I bought for myself when I needed just a bit of cheering up and I could not pass this up. This is the Ford Anglia and I bought this while in Sainsbury's which is a supermarket in the UK and I love it. It's got a bit beaten up because I left it on the floor in my bedroom, my mistake, but I absolutely needed this for the Weasley shelf. This car does come with the Privet Drive Lego set and with a Whomping Willow Lego set I believe but I wanted the one of it on its own for the shelf which is just stunning. Now the last Lego set that I bought was another purchase from Sainsbury's. I bought this at the same time as I bought my Ford Anglia set because I thought if I'm buying myself a set might as well get Lewis one and I got him the Mandalorian N1 Starfighter Micro Fighter and it comes with Mandalorian and Grogu and this is absolutely stunning. Grogu just looks so cute in this. I love this so much. I did also of recent um in purchases for sort of cheering myself up and accidental purchases this may have been i got the monsters inc sort of vhs pin set now i have from this ser this series i believe the winnie the pooh that they released and the Toy Story, I needed the Monsters Inc. I just absolutely needed it. Isn't that stunning? And it's got all the information that the VHS would have on and they released five in this series. This is three of five. So stunning. Now moving on to other Disney stuff, I got three bags of these I've only bought one down to show you but these were another Easter present from my mum and will be coming out as a video in July I believe June or July and these are the Disney 100 nano metal figs and that these are who you can collect. I'm looking for the loads. My ones that I'm most desperate for are Winnie the Pooh, Baymax Mike, and Mike Wazowski. So hopefully in the three bags mum got those but we shall see. I have also of recent bought myself some bag clips. Now this set of bag clips I've been after for absolutely ages. I only bought myself four bags but may go back for a top up. 
and this is the Disney 100 Series 1 figure or bag clips. Now these are available in a store in the UK called HMV. They have also, for all you American followers, I believe, been at Box Lunch and Hot Topic. So check those to see if they are still there. This is so shiny, but I'm so excited. These are coming to you in August, this video. And then preparing for Vlogmas already, I managed to get hold of these Disney figural bag clips. These are series 26 and these are the Christmas ones. Now I do know this set is quite old I think and I am very late to the game but it has only just come to the UK and it is in HMV and I am so excited. There is only two that I am desperate for, one of them being exclusive B because it looks like Piglet but I have four of these so we're going to see who we get and this is coming in vlogmas you guys which is very exciting and then in my last package which I was the big big box I have got a humongous amount of Dorables. I do actually have two other sets of Dorables upstairs which I will recently brought which I will go and get once I've shown you what's in the big box. But the first series I bought is a series that's not been done on the channel and is long long overdue for me to purchase and that's the Let's Go Around the World series 2. I am so excited for this set, it's got two of my most, most favourite Disney characters in it, well three I would say, because you've got Pooh Bear, my spirit animal, Roo, oh my days, I need him, and Baymax, Baymax is like my most absolute new favourite. This just like the series one comes with the cards that you can collect. I got two boxes of these. So there will be two videos coming on this series in November, which is nice. And then I did get one of the series, one series, because I'm trying to finish this set. I believe I still need Rex, Woody, Tigger, Pooh Bear, Alien, Eeyore and Olaf and Elsa. Well actually Elsa, thinking about it now, looks familiar. I did two videos of this already on the channel which I will link up above. This at some point in the future will probably be a video. This one right here. But I do not have it planned for now. That is a future video. Then for a video coming within June, we've got the Disney Dorables Academy Campus Crew series. Now I did cover this in Vlogmas at the end of last year. So this will be a part two video to see if we can get some any more that we need. I am after... Piglet, Hero, Kristoff, Dash, Eeyore, Tigger, Stitch, Party Saurus Rex, Judy Hops, Rainbow Unicorn and Dean Hard Scrabble. So we want quite a lot. So I'm hoping this pack has seven in. I'm so excited for that. Now, my next purchase is a funny funny one I had ordered or thought I had ordered one mega peak of the series 8 9 and 10 and there is a big story to this mega peak I ordered this off the UK Amazon last year probably about June July August time and it was supposed to turn up February this year 
but I cancelled because it was taking ages to turn up and then when I went on Amazon to have a look at the information of the product, it was gone. So I assumed it wasn't turning up. So I recently treated myself to one of the American Amazon. And this is coming in September to you for a video. But I accidentally clicked that I wanted to... <laughs> I didn't realise that I'd click to. Now, if I, being honest, had known that I had clicked to, I would have changed it to one and ordered the series four, five, and six mega peak that I am after, so that I had one of each rather than two of this one. So. I really don't know what's happening with the second box. I don't know whether it will be a video, some shorts, or whether I'm just going to open it off camera. It will not be in a giveaway and it will not be sold because I do want it and I do want to open it. Now, I'm looking in this set for lots of series 9 and 10 and I need big hero six characters from series eight it's been a real problem trying to get those because they released series eight in two like separate batches so i've managed to complete all my monsters inc which is amazing but the big hero six is not completed yet so now the next package of drawings that I ordered I had selected that I wanted three of these let's go series one vehicles these and all the other unbox um, adorables that I'm showing you now from the big box will be in vlogmas just so I don't forget but I ordered selected that I wanted three of these thinking there'd be three of the individual packets I got three packs of two I don't think I was in the right headspace when I was ordering now there are I believe six possibly that I want so and these will be coming to you in vlogmas I don't know whether I will open all six packs in vlogmas or whether I will be doing a couple and saving some for later videos I don't know we'll have to see I haven't made a full plan yet I'm just a sh in shock with what has arrived today because all these adorables turned up today around lunchtime. Now the let's other let's go series that I have ordered was series two and I only ordered two boxes of this again thinking it was two singular boxes but I got two now there is only two characters I want from this one of them being the Toy Story alien but we shall see how we go I can't actually remember who else is in here now series three let's go vehicles on my wish list but at $19.99 no thank you not at that price now I can understand I think that price now that these have turned up in a pack of two so essentially that's probably around like nine ten dollars per pack and individually they are like nine to ten pound in the UK 
one UK website called Smith's Toys, so if you're a UK follower, listen up. They do have the Let's Go Cars Series 1 down to £7.99. And I did almost buy more off there when I did a small order off there of two other sets of doorables I didn't buy from the American Amazon. And I'm so glad I didn't top up because of how much actually has turned up today. Now, the last adorables item in this big box are these two Star Wars adorables and these are the Galactic Cruisers. Now, I say that these are Series 1 because if these do well, they may come out with more. My priority thought, adorables, where are the Marvel ones? Just putting it out there because we need them. If you've done Star Wars, Marvel should be on the bucket list. I'm hoping that with the Marvel, they do like they have with some of the Disney ones. They do maybe a collection peak or two because they'd be able to do an... Well, with Marvel, you could do a full-on Avengers collection peak and then the Disney Plus series if you chose to. But you could actually, if you thought it correctly, do Dorables for some of the different movies. I have a feeling that they may do something like the Star Wars and do like the Little Cruisers, the Star Wars plush, which I did not buy. And they might do like a standard set with different characters that may only come say in a uh, mini peaks maybe in like a little avengers a or something but they'd be silly i think with the avengers maybe not to do some of these separate movies or at least do the originals and then do the disney plus series separately but these are the star wars ones oh let me show you who you can get now these are coming out in vlogmas as well I did order the other Star Wars set and another series um, 11. Those I have, I think, recently posted about on my Instagram when I got them and I have done a video of the series 11. So I think I will, if I haven't posted them, I will repost them rather than showing them in this hall because they are all the way upstairs um but i really hope you have enjoyed this haul guys and all the things i had to show you as i said i'm trying to make hauls a bit more regular so that as and when i'm buying stuff i'm filming hauls and i'm showing you what i have which i think is really really nice to do on occasion Please let me know in the comments down below what your favourite item was from this haul. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe down below and turn on that notification bell so you're notified when more magical mischief is coming your way. I really hope you have enjoyed this video, guys, and I'll see you very soon. Bye!